Um, so last February, I was lucky enough to go on a trip to Africa uh, with eight other of my family members. Um, so we traveled to uh, Uganda in Central Africa. Uh, we, spent, we spent 10 days there going on safaris. We went gorilla trekking, which was an amazing experience. Um, we stayed in this mountain resort and we got up at five in the morning and drove an hour and a half to this site. And so you're driving along this road at five in the morning, it's pitch black and there's kids walking along the side of the road. They're going to school. They're walking an hour, two hours to go to school in the morning. And it's like, you think about that compared to what we do in our real lives. Like it's, it's crazy, like how different it is and how they live. So, but anyways, like we get to this um, gorilla site and so we go trekking, hiking basically through these uh, rainforests in the mountains. And um, about an hour after that, we get to the gorillas. And it's funny, like the, the hills are so steep, it's literally like a straight up and down incline at some points. And my grandfather, who's about 275 pounds and has uh, replaced hips and knees, uh, he can't really do that. So what they do for people like him, they have a stretcher and they have eight or 10 guys that work for them that live in like local villages and stuff. They come and they they follow us through the mountain and they carried him like on a stretcher, like a hospital stretcher up these mountains. Like, and we get to these gorillas and we spend an hour watching them in their habitat. And it's like the most amazing thing. Like you see them have like, it's a family of 10 or 12 and there's little babies like jumping around in the trees and the big like silverback which is the father of the, the tribe he he's like 600 pounds he's huge and he's just sitting there and we have a video of him we're all standing around watching him he's eating uh, like off the trees and stuff and he just gets up and he like he beats his chest and he runs like five feet in front of our faces and it's like the most amazing experience I've ever seen like when well, so we get a chance to do that. Um, but anyways, that trip was one of the most amazing experiences of my lives. But the only bad thing was uh, when we were leaving, we were supposed to fly out there at 11 and it's about eight or 10 hours to Amsterdam and then eight hours from Amsterdam to uh, DC. And so our flight got delayed until four in the morning. So we ended up spending 30 hours uh, traveling to get home, but it was definitely worth it.